When I think about my journey so far in the fight game, it's been it's been a lot of ups and downs, more financially than in the actual fight career. Just because when you start out, you're not making any money. Doing things on the side, I was mowing lawns and doing private lessons and scraping by for the first three years of my fight career. And now I'm in about seven and a half years in and I'm right on the brink of making about a million and a half dollars this year by the end of the year. I don't go to bars, I don't party, I just sit home. And I think I've watched like 30 episodes of The Office the last two days and play some video games and that's it. I don't, I don't like doing nothing crazy at all. Growing up, um, young time, we would just fight, fight on the streets. Just, just we had, that's how we grew up, grew up. That's how we made friends. We beef it out, shake each other's hand, we're friends now. So everybody tends to think that fighting, it's an it's a easy thing to do. That's why sometimes you see a lot of criticism from uh, fans, you know, saying these guys suck, that guy suck, but they don't, they don't understand what you actually have to go through. Humble, humble, humble. I just got my black belt, and I just got ragdolled by a really high, high level black belt. I mean, obviously you want to look at your opponent and, and see, you know, what he's really about. Sometimes you can see that in his eyes, you know what I mean? And the eyes tell a lot, um, you know, but I don't really look in, I don't really pay too much mind to any of that kind of stuff. This guy is a fucking million dollar baby. The champ, the champ is there. One million dollar, I promise. I bring Brazil together. Half of it's coming to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He promised me half. Yeah. Half's coming to me. In my career, support comes from my family, my team, my coaches, my wife, most importantly, because she was with me before I was making any money or even supporting myself. There were months where she was paying the rent for both of us and basically taking care of me until I was able to pay that stuff after fights. This is what we do every day. So fighting is what we do every day. We're, we're born fighters, you know what I'm saying? So it's not a different mindset. It's the weight cut and getting your body right. That's the harder part. Once it's time to, to fight in the cage, it's time to go to work. We're ready for work. His first fight in MMA is him 15 years old, you know, him almost 20 years this sport. I think him now is the best moment in his career. He may have every skill for the win this million dollars. Coming out of that playoff night, there'll be two finalists. Those two finalists will then go to December 31st to Madison Square Garden, back where the season started. All six weight classes will fight for the world title. And Ray Sefo will be granting you that world title for the six winners in each of the weight classes and a million dollar check. This is, this is about fighting, but ultimately it's about these kids changing their lives. And financially, it helps, of course, uh, to go do that and then to prevail as a winner and additionally make a uh, million dollars. You're absolutely changing your life doing that.